High-risk driving zones in Queensland, such as schools and roadworks, will soon have increased levels of safety and scrutiny when new speed camera technology is deployed across the state. The notoriously dangerous areas, where students and workers have been struck by vehicles, will be targeted by solar-powered mobile worksite cameras to reduce injury and in some cases, fatal accidents. Speaking before the start of Road Safety Week, State Transport Minister Mark Bailey announced the new speed cameras will come into action from September 9. Read more, legal advice on Scott Morrison's secret portfolios to be handed down I urge people, if you think you're one of the people who might get nabbed from doing the wrong thing, you know, drive safely from today, because then that really reduces your risk and the risk of everybody else, Bailey said. The world's first portable speed detection devices will be set up at random sites and moved around at random times, with the Queensland government not revealing just how many units will be out in force. They can be anywhere, at any time, in any school zone or construction site anywhere in the state, Bailey said. The units can be put into all sorts of different spaces and they will be moved regularly. He said the aim of the new technology is the same as random breath testing. So you know, if you drive safely, you've got nothing to worry about, he said. Queensland has had 74 speeding-related deaths in the past year. Read more, Hero 23-year-old pulls elderly neighbors from burning Brisbane House Queensland Police Service Acting Superintendent Janelle Andrews said Australia has an alarming increase in serious road crashes and fatalities, including on Queensland roads. The theme for this year's road safety is starts with me, she said. To challenge the community about what they will do to make our roads safer, about their decision making when they get behind the wheel of a car and how they can impact to reduce the number of crashes on our roads. One life lost on the road is one too many, Andrew said, the new devices aim to provide Queensland with specific intelligence around how many motorists and heavy vehicles are speeding through high-risk zones each day.